Hey guys, take a bunch of video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to delete any viruses that you think you might have gotten on your iPhone. So let's get started. So when it comes to virus, the very important thing to remember is usually it comes through a couple ways. If you're on the internet browsing around to any website, you might have accidentally downloaded something. Or if you accidentally click the link through a message that says maybe something along the lines of, oh, your delivery is coming or something where they make you click a link to download something else. Or if you're in your mail as well and you accidentally click a link and takes you to the app store to download anything now the good thing is for the most part iphones you know, when it comes to viruses they don't just get virus randomly unless you click on things and you download stuff and give away your information because most of the time they're just looking to collect your information from you so if you download any suspicious app the first thing is go ahead and delete the apps by pressing and holding and then click on remove and delete app and i wouldn't recommend downloading any apps that you're not familiar with or you know isn't really popular if it has like a couple ratings or it's like one of those apps that it's telling you that it's going to clean up viruses or going to protect your account. Those apps are usually the ones that are the actual issue, so you want to remove them. The next thing you want to do is go over to... All right, in the setting of your iPhone, once you're in there, all you're going to do is scroll all the way to find Safari here, right? In the Safari here, a couple things here. All you will have to do in order to clear out any data or website that you have gone could be malicious is just clearing this clear history one and here i like to just do all of it and then close out all the tabs as well so if there's a tab that's preventing you from accessing other website you want to select that on and then delete all history here so click on that and once it's grayed out that means it successfully have cleared any sort of browser related virus or malware on your iphone now, after you have done that, the next thing to check out is your Files app, which is a default app on your iPhone. And when you open up Files app, you'll see a couple things here, but at the bottom navigation under Browse here, you're gonna wanna click on first the iCloud drive and then click on Downloads. In the Download section, now you wanna take a look at the files, even the photos that are available here and see if you see anything that was recently downloaded, like for example, that you don't recognize. So if you see something that's like a zip file or some kind of file that looks like something that you didn't download, go ahead and press and hold. And when you press and hold, you're gonna click on delete now. And then you'll clear it out from there. Same thing, if you go back again, now this time instead of the iCloud drive, you're gonna go to my iPhone and see if there's anything available there, again, that you don't uh, think that it's familiar to you, they're gonna go ahead and delete it. So browse around, usually in the downloads, that's where most downloaded files or gonna exist, you're gonna press and hold and just delete as much as you can or things that you don't recognize that was recently downloaded. Now, after that, you can also go to the recent tab here and it'll also show you recent things that were downloaded on your phone. And again, if you recognize something that you don't know what that is, it's safe to not open it up and just press and hold and then just delete it. And once you delete it, you're gonna go back to the browse options, go back one more time, one more time again here, and then under recently deleted, you're gonna wanna click on recently deleted here. Now, another way to access download is under favorite as well. So if you wanna access it from there, that also works. But then go to recently deleted and click on these three dots up top here. And you're gonna wanna select, and again, select everything that you just recently deleted. And then you're gonna wanna click on delete. And then are you sure you wanna delete it? And they'll be completely gone from your phone, just like that. So important to do that. Now you have cleared any downloaded files that could be a virus on your iPhone. Now, after you have done that, those two things, that's gonna be pretty good for your iPhone, but now if you still suspect that you have a virus or something, the next thing to do is going ahead into your iPhone setting, go to your i iCloud or Apple account here, go to iCloud and then iCloud backup, and now you're gonna to wanna to back up your iPhone so your data is safe on your iPhone. So you click on data backup here, you successfully back up your phone, and after you backed it up, not important, you wanna back it up, or you can use a computer to back it up as well with um, the iTunes app. After you back it up, you're gonna do a factory reset on your iPhone by going to your settings. All the way down here is this transfer reset iPhone erase all settings and content. Here, I'm not gonna do it because I don't have a virus, but you're gonna go through this process to erase the phone. And then with the backup, which was really important to do, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and restore the phone as well. And this process, we explain in another video in more depth. We'll leave the link for that video if you wanna check that out. 
And again, after you have done that, your phone should be good. And again, like I said, most iPhones don't get viruses besides things that you can avoid usually, like going to malicious website is first one, avoiding clicking any kind of link that comes through text messages and anything that comes on your email as well that you're not familiar with it and you'll be fine for the most part. So that's how you get rid of all the viruses that you might have on your iPhone. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please make sure to like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.